Hi there, this is Tom from eDirectory, and thank you for tuning in to our video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to cover how to style your eDirectory. Let's get started. Head over to our browser and get back into the site manager of our directory, where we're going to uh, start with a, a stock install of the eDirectory software uh, and see how we can stylize and customize the appearance of our directory in just a few steps. So for comparison's sake, I have what our directory site looks like now where uh, none of the uh, customization and style points have been edited yet. So you can see we have these uh, stock logo here, demo directory. Uh, we have the, the background image here. We have these blue, white, and black colors uh, that are our stock images here. Uh, we have a default image that is uh, the demo directory image as well. Uh, and I'm going to show you now how we can go back into the site manager and change all of these settings. So here we are. So when you first get started on your directory, one of the best things to do is head to the configuration settings here uh, and start to fill out some of the basic information. Uh, as you can see here, we can start with uh, our, our website logo section here. Uh, now you, you can choose a logo image. It can be um, a JPEG, a PNG, uh, as long as it's under uh, one and a half megs and is not an animated GIF, uh, it, it will be supported there. Uh, the recommended size is 330 pixels by 50 pixels here. Uh, that's really, really going to fit into the, the framework of the software and have, have a great looking appearance there. Uh, I recommend using a, a PNG and having more of a transparent background so you don't get that blocky look. Uh, but this is something you, you can uh, you know see how it looks and update for it for yourself. Uh, so let's, let's go in and choose a logo here. Let's see. And let's save our changes here now. And I'm going to go back and forth. Now see we have a Game of Thrones logo. Uh, we haven't picked up on that yet. Creating a, a Game of Thrones themed directory here. Have a little fun in this video. Uh, so I'm going to refresh this page and see what it looks like with our Game of Thrones logo. So we have that up there on the top left now. Uh, as you can see, it's a black logo. It's got a transparent background. Uh, we have this gray, this dark gray uh, top header banner here. Uh, so it does kind of hide this image. So uh, a little bit later, I'm going to show uh, how we can adjust the color here, uh, this, uh, this uh, header image here. Uh, to really make uh, the logo of Game of Thrones stand out a bit more. But for now, let's just check uh, the image quality looks good, uh, the size and fit are, are okay. Uh, so we're going to move on to the other sections before we uh, change gears and, and talk about the colors and whatnot. Uh, so below that, we're going to have our default image. Now the default image, if I come back here, are these demo directory images here. So I have a, a couple listings created uh, for some of the houses, uh, the family names from Game of Thrones, and House Lannister, House Baratheon. Uh, if, if, if there was not an image already included in these listings, uh, it goes back to the default image of your directory. Uh, so you can see we just have these it defaults to the demo directory image. We, we, we want to change that because we uh, this isn't a demo directory uh, directory, this is a Game of Thrones directory. Uh, so let's go here and choose uh, let's see, let's choose an Iron Throne image here. Uh, so again, it's recommended this is 330 by 150. Uh, you can uh, check and see how your images look, uh, which I recommend doing after each upload. So we got a nice image of the Iron Throne there. And let's refresh uh, the front end of our directory and see how those came through. There we go, have some default images that look great. Uh, it's recommended for each of these listings to have an individual photo, but if you don't have some, default image is great uh, you know, to really uh, be consistent and offer some more branding for your directory site. Let's go back once more. So also in this basic information is a favicon. Uh, if you're not aware, the favicon section, let me pull down my browser top here. You can see here it is over here. Right now we don't have a favicon, so it just looks like this, this white piece of paper here. Uh, now we can include a custom one there, so when someone's looking at your site on their browser, they can pull up uh, a nice little image there. Let's get this back up. So it's recommended that it's uh, 16 by 16 pixels. It's really small. Uh, it's typically a, a PNG file that you can convert easily to a .ico, which is sort of the short for icon. So let's go in and add a 
really small favicon here as well. I've got one. Let's see these changes. Uh, it's going to look like you can see there's not much uh, detail to it. It looks kind of pixelated, but that's how they're going to show up because they are only 16 by 16, very, very small. Uh, this is uh, supposed to look like uh, a wolf for uh, the house Stark there. Uh, so save those changes. Let's refresh the front end that we have here. I'm going to pull down our browser tab once more. You can see we've got a nice wolf uh, house Stark Fabicon there, really small, but uh, it's nice to add a little bit of branding, a little bit of personality to your site and your directory whenever you can. Put this back up there. Let's head back into the site manager. So we've added our logo, our default image, our favicon. So these are the areas that uh, you can cover uh, visually and, and, and style-wise uh, into your uh, directory that are in the configuration basic information section. Uh, now to make some additional changes to the appearance of our front end, we're going to go to the Design and Customization tab. Now we're going to start in our Layout Editor uh, section here. And on top, we're going to have our themes. We have the four themes. Uh, we have the default theme, which we're currently on. We have Real Estate, Dining Guide, and Contractors. I really only recommend those three uh, if you are creating a directory that is specifically a Real Estate Guide, a Dining Guide, uh, or a Contractor Directory. Uh, it's very easy to click and preview these or to switch. Uh, and use those themes and check out how they, they look. Uh, but for this directory, we're going to stick with the default theme uh, and how you can stylize and make edits here. Below that, we're going to have our color options. Uh, now, it's great again to have uh, the front end of our directory in, in a tab uh, live right, right next to our site manager here. So you can really check what some of these colors are uh, on the front end here and how they relate to the color number and the specific area that they're referring to here. And it's real quick to just make some changes, make some switches, see how, how they look, see if we want to keep them, or if we want to make any additional uh, customizations. Uh, so let's go back to the home page. Uh, see one of our main colors is this blue that we have here, these blue sections here. Uh, and uh, let's see if we can make a change to, to, to that. So our main color here, we have color three. That's where that blue is, is going to be. So let's see if we can change that. Let's make that, let's go to red, let's see if we make this real dark red, almost a burgundy. Pull that up there, scroll down, make sure to save your changes here. When it's notified you that your changes have been saved, we'll go and refresh this page. And then we should see our dark red color here. Great. Now as I mentioned earlier, we uh, added our PNG file, which has a transparent background here. But this dark gray color is sort of washing out uh, our Game of Thrones logo here, which is, is not ideal. Uh, so we're going to go back here, find that color. So we have the header background. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's nice to have some of these labels that really directs you to where the colors are. So this header background color, we're going to need to make this lighter. It's not too light, not too dark. And there's gray in there. Maybe somewhere in here. Let's see how this works. And if it's successful or not, we can always just come back and change it. Let's refresh here and see if our header is a bit lighter now. There we go, much lighter. You can really see the Game of Thrones logo stand out. That's great. Uh, let's see what other options we have here. So we have the footer background, the overall site background, the main navigation bar as well. And we have uh, the typography options to, to change uh, the colors of our text. Uh, and we can alter the font family as well. Currently on an open sans, sans serif font family. Uh, let's change that to uh, Arial Helvetica sans serif. Uh, see if that uh, brings a favorable change to our site here. Click the refresh page. Uh, these font families are fairly similar, uh, but just to show you that uh, it is a little bit different here, uh, get more of that Arial Helvetica feel here. Uh, so you can really uh, choose those options and see what fits your branding there a little, a little bit better. Uh, we're going to stick with this one for now just to move this video along. Uh, so those are the main color and typography options that you have here. Uh, it's fun to play around with those and really make the directory your own and really make sure it matches uh, what you're looking for and what's going to speak to your audience. Next tab we have here is our background image. We're going to have this default background image of some light spots here. Uh, you can see this on demo directory and, 
any other default uh, install of our software that's going to be there. Uh, the standard uh, background image is going to be 1800 by 370 pixels, uh, but you can have uh, backgrounds that are a little bit different size, uh, but you may have to play around with how those fit uh, and if they're stretched a bit uh, and if, if the quality is, is affected or not. Uh, so let's see if we can add a file here and add our own uh, background image. Have this load for a second. I recommend using uh, more uh, standard, more solid colors, uh, something with not a whole lot going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. You don't want to distract too much from your main content. You don't want anything that uh, stands out and looks a little bit gaudy. Uh, you don't want too much going on in the center of the image as well because that's going to be covered up by the content that's in your directory. Really only these sidebar areas are going to show here. So uh, let's save our changes and check out how this looks on our site. Let me refresh now. Should make the feel a little bit darker. Here we go. Uh, so just some dark brick. Looks like it could be a castle maybe in Game of Thrones or something. Who knows? Uh, <clears throat> we have this in here. Uh, looks pretty good for uh, example purposes. Uh, and as you can see with just a few clicks, didn't really uh, spend too much time here. We were able to alter the appearance of a lot of things uh, fairly quickly uh, and, and make this uh, fit our own style a bit more. After the background image, uh, we have the CSS editor. Let's click in here. So this now is going to be for people with, uh, who have experience and a, a high level of familiarity uh, with customizing the code when it comes to cascading style sheets. Uh, so if you or someone on your team or a developer that you know is familiar and has the proper experience, uh, this is a great area to go back in, uh, choose the different style, style sheets that you want to edit, uh, and, and just make, make some changes. Uh, if you do make any changes, you can always re reset them uh, if you feel you've made something an error or are uh, just uh, uncomfortable with uh, what's going on there. But uh, it's a great option to have uh, if you or someone you know uh, can handle uh, that form of code. Uh, but for example pur purposes, and to keep this video shorter, I'll stay out of there uh, and just let the de designers and developers stick with that. So again, uh, in just a few minutes, we were able to add uh, a lot of different style and changes uh, to our directory site here, uh, add some Game of Thrones branding here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our video and were able to learn some things. Uh, and I hope you can uh, take these examples and put them to use uh, when stylizing and creating your own directory site. Uh, as always, you can contact us by phone or by email. Reach us at edirectory.com. Uh, contact support at support.edirectory.com. If you have any additional questions or want some more information or want to share your stories with us, uh, we're more than glad to uh, see any site examples you have. You may want to uh, show off to us with uh, or if you have any questions for that. Uh, so again, uh, this was how to style your eDirectory. Thanks for tuning in. Happy building with eDirectory.